I posted a video about editing photos in DaVinci Resolve and it went great. People liked it, there are a lot of comments, views and people wonder how I managed to import raw stills in DaVinci Resolve. As I said in that video, I use Nikon camera and it's natively like Nikon RAW is natively supported in DaVinci so I can just drag and drop the file there and I got all the RAW features. So no problem if you're a Nikon user or if your camera shoots Cinema DNG, which I think Sigma, Sigma does? Probably Sigma, but I'm not sure. I don't know what else. But people in the comments are asking how to import Panasonic RAW, Sony RAW, Canon RAW and natively you can't and it's annoying but I didn't care about it that much because I have an Nikon camera I don't have a Panasonic camera but recently I started looking towards Panasonic S5 because the prices are getting lower and I want something full frame in my arsenal and I was discussing it with my friend Mindo from Mindo Works great guy great content links down below check him out so we were discussing it and like in a day or two he just dumped his pocket 6k and bought S5 like out of nowhere. He tried to import photos in DaVinci and he failed. So I decided, I think like it's been a year, it's finally the time to make a tutorial how to import raw files of any camera into DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so here we go. And it's gonna be like super quick. Let me show you on the screen. So the first thing you need to do is to open Google and type in DNG converter from Adobe. You open Adobe website and like right away you see the download button, you just download whatever version you need, like Mac or Windows, I'm on the Mac, and I already downloaded it and it's like super straightforward, you just press download, it's getting downloaded and that, that's it, like you install it like any usual software you would install on Mac or <laughs> Windows. So you've installed it, opened it and that's what you will see. For some reason, if you drag and drop the folder with raw files, it just, it doesn't select it. So Adobe, please, if you're watching this, give us this feature, give us drag and drop feature so we can just drag and drop folders there. But anyway, you can't now, so let's do it manually. You press select folder, you go to the folder destination. I have Panasonic RAW here and we press select and the folder is selected. We can then pick a location like new location, same location. That's that's pretty straightforward here. I'm just gonna, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just gonna save it there. Then the document name and the extension. I'm gonna just leave it the same. So we press convert and so that's it. It took like a few seconds. But it's not a lot of photos. I have no idea if it's like, if you have like 5,000 photos, if it's gonna take long, but here like the few photos, it took seconds. And that's it, that's basically it. Yeah, so now you open DaVinci, you open the folder and you see that in this folder, you have original raw files as well as the rendered DNG files. So I will select the DNG files only and I will drag and drop. And as you can see, DaVinci is perfectly fine with it. You select it, drag it on the timeline go to the color page and you color grade it whatever you want. And if you go to camera raw and you select clip, you get all the raw features as from the Nikon uh, raw files that I was using in the previous video. And you see like it's quite underexposed. You can just crank the exposure up and fix it. And yeah, then you just color grade it however you want using all the great tools that DaVinci offers for color grading. Yeah, that's amazing. I'm just gonna be carried away right now because like when I start color grading, I just, I, I can't be stopped. Also, while I'm here, on the previous video, I got a lot of comments, people saying, dude, you can just grab seal and export as PNG or JPEG from this gallery, from this gallery section here. And yes, you can do it. I said in the video that I just showed the way that I prefer to export it because uh, let me show you. So you grab still and you press export and all you can change is the file extension and that's it like JPEG, PNG, TIFF and like and that's it. No controls at all. So that's why in my previous video I showed the delivery page option because you get a little bit more control of it. So yeah, that's basically it. That's basically how you import and export your photos in DaVinci Resolve. 
I hope you liked the video, like, comment, subscribe and stay tuned for more. And may the art be with you.